in a passion for torture. Uh, we have several agents that causes diseases. Uh, mainly we have uh, the fungus, the virus, and the bacterial. For those caused by fungus, we have the brown spots, we have the dieback, uh, we have the septoria leaf spot, and so on. And for those caused by uh, virus, we have mostly in passion fruit, we have the Udinus virus. And uh, for the bacterial, which is a very rare, we at rare cases we find uh, bacterial wilt. One of the, the, the most uh, common uh, diseases in passion fruits is uh, dieback. It's, uh, it's the most lethal one in a passion fruit orchard. As you can see over here, the disease starts from the middle of the plant, dies going towards the roots, and it eventually kills the whole plant. So you'll end up losing the whole crop. So the most uh, common signs for dieback disease, you can, know, you can just know by seeing how it starts. It usually starts from the middle of a plant. As you can see, it's starting at this point. Eventually, the plant will die and cause the damage. As you can see, we are losing the fruits because the plant is, is dead in the middle. So all the plant will die eventually. To control this kind of a disease, which is caused by a fungus, you can cut one foot away from, from the disease part, somewhere here, and make sure you smear it with a copper-based fungicide. Once you're done cutting, you ensure you disinfect your tools before using it in another plant. And uh, make sure that the disease part of the, of the plant, you, put, you place it in a bag so that you can be able to go and destroy it away from the field. The other way of controlling is by ensuring that you follow, just follow the right spray program so that you can, be, you can ensure that the fungus doesn't come to the field by, provide, by using the fungicides that are able to control or protect the plant from being infected by the fungi. Another common uh, disease in passion fruit is uh, it's called brown spot. Usually you can identify it by seeing a brown spot on a leaf, like this one. Also you can identify it in the fruits, like uh, this one over here. And uh, the problem with this disease is, is that it causes uh, a lot of damage to the leaves. When brown spots uh, attacks the leaves, the plant will lose, the, the leaves will eventually fall down and when the plant loses its leaves, yeah, that means the, the plant is not making any food. When the brown spots attacks uh, the fruit, uh, like this one, it means that uh, we are no longer having a quality product and that's what we are looking for. So we love to, we just lose the fruit and we love no product at the end. Uh, in a passion fruit orchard, we have uh, several types of pests that affect uh, passion fruits. We have those uh, which are sucking pests, we have the biting pests, and those uh, which cut by just biting the stem. Uh, for those uh, example of those ones which are sucking, we have the thrips, we have the aphids, we have the mealybugs, and so on. For, the, for those ones which are the biting pests, we have uh, the caterpillars, the leaf opus, and so on. One of the most common uh, pests in passion fruits is called uh, thrips. It usually causes a lot of damages uh, when the, the fruit is still young, because the pest usually enters through the flower, damages the, the tender fruit. And later, in the later stages, the fruit will have a, a bad shape, like this one. It's not uh, round as it's supposed to be. Also, you can see it's causing a lot of scars, so it lowers the quality of the fruit. And to control the trips, you ensure that you do regular scouting in the field, passion fruit orchard, and uh, do a regular just do a proper spray program so that you can be able to eliminate all the pests in the field. Here we are having a blackjack, blackjack weed, uh, highly infested by aphids, 
and the aphids are the most notorious uh, pest in, uh, in the passion fruit because they are the vectors of a, a disease called uh, woodiness virus which causes the fruits to crack and lower the quality. So if you do not remove the weeds, uh, or if you do not control the weeds, the pest will just move from the, after finishing out uh, eating the, or multiplying the weeds, they'll move to your plant. They suck on the plant and then they'll transmit uh, the virus to the plant. Also, human beings are also considered as a uh, pest because uh, they can damage the whole crop.